Welcome to Starbase, the city and spaceport of the future. If you're a spaceflight fan, chances are you've heard of it. And even if you're not, you've probably seen it in the news lately. This is what it looks like today. A busy team of SpaceX employees full steam ahead to launch the second Starship rocket in a few weeks. But Starbase hasn't always looked like this. It looked like this. The giant build site we watch every day was just a tent and a rocket prototype. And the giant launch pad that we watched the world's most powerful rocket launch off of just a few months ago was just a few tanks and piles of dirt. So, how do we go from this to this in just nine years since its groundbreaking in 2014? Before Boca Chica in Texas was ever the final place for the SpaceX Starship program, SpaceX and Elon Musk were looking at five potential locations in 2007. Alaska, California, Florida, Texas, and Virginia. In 2012, Georgia and Puerto Rico were also interested in hosting the new SpaceX launch pad, so by the end of 2012, they were considering all seven of these sites. In early 2013, Texas was the place SpaceX was most interested in, with Florida and Georgia close behind in the race. Texas began to persuade SpaceX to choose them when they introduced important legislation allowing temporary closure of state beaches for a rocket launch and limiting liability for noise and other spaceflight risks and activities. In April of 2012, the Federal Aviation Administration created a notice of intent for an environmental impact statement and a number of public hearings. There was an agreement for 12 commercial launches per year, including two Falcon Heavy launches. They leased three patches of land with a total of 12.4 acres for a launch control centre. In addition to this land, SpaceX also leased 56.6 acres of land, of which 20 acres would be used to develop the vertical launch site. The remainder would stay as open space around the launch facility. In July of 2014, the FAA announced that the proposal by Elon Musk's Space Exploration Technologies would have no significant impact on the environment, and SpaceX was given the green light to begin building. SpaceX broke ground on the new launch site in 2014, but the building would not ramp up until late 2015. Lighter construction of fences and temporary buildings started first in 2014. Site construction actually ramped up in 2016. Then, by 2019, the site had been, quote, transformed into an operational launch site outfitted with the ground support equipment needed to support test flights of the methane-fueled Starship vehicle. The construction was delayed after one of the two SpaceX launch pads was destroyed in September of 2016, which meant that the launch site design and build team was busy in Florida for nearly a year. Because Boca Chica had waterlogged ground, SpaceX had to complete a very important process to make sure the ground was ready for heavy structures like a launch pad. For this operation to be completed, around 237 million kilograms of soil was sent to Starbase between October 2015 and January 2016. After more soil testing, it was determined there was still foundational problems and SpaceX President Gwen Shotwell said that construction would not be finished until 2017 and a first launch would not be expected until late 2018. Building progress on the launch pad slowed considerably in 2017, but in late 2018 progress ramped up suddenly with the development of a large propellant tank farm, including a 95,000 gallon horizontal liquid oxygen tank and an 80,000 gallon liquid methane tank, more offices and a small launch pad. An article from 2013 said that SpaceX would invest approximately $100 million into the project. Now it's been estimated by the end of this year they would have invested nearly $5 billion. As we all probably remember, the FAA completed another environmental impact survey, extensively delaying the first Starship integrated test flight. The FAA then announced that Starbase was not creating a significant impact on the environment, but they had to complete a list of more than 75 actions, including donations to wildlife charities, protecting the local sea turtle population, plus many more, including, I believe, a viewing platform for bird watchers. Now that we've covered the launch land acquisition and environmental assessments, I want to go back in time a bit and talk about Boca Chica Village. Before the final decision on the spaceport location, SpaceX started buying up real estate plots in and around Boca Chica Village and Boca Chica Beach. Before May 2013, SpaceX had purchased five lots. Then in May of 2013, they bought an additional seven lots. In November of 2013, SpaceX increased its land holdings from 12 lots to 72 lots, with a total of 24 acres. Then, by the end of 2014, they owned a total of 87 lots. 
just over 100 acres. At around the same time, they bought and modified several residential properties in Boca Chica Village. In September 2019, SpaceX sent a request out to all the houses in Boca Chica and offered three times the market value to all homeowners, along with an invitation of VIP launch viewing for all future spaceflight events. The offer was non-negotiable and homeowners were given two weeks for this offer to still be valid. During construction, two 9 meter S-band tracking stations were installed, which used to be used for tracking the space shuttles. SpaceX also installed their own 6.5 acre solar farm to provide off-grid electricity to the SpaceX site. First Starship prototype, nicknamed Starhopper, first flew in late July of 2019. The launch mount began construction in July of 2020. The SpaceX launch tower that we all recognise today completed stacking in July of 2021. After SM prototypes stopped flying, SpaceX began to build ground support equipment tanks, cryo shells, and Starship Ship 20 and Booster 4. On the 6th of August 2021, Ship 20 and Booster 4 became the first fully stacked Starship and Super Heavy booster. Then, on April 20th, 2023, the first fully integrated test flight took off, 16 years after SpaceX first began looking for a potential launch site. Since SpaceX moved into the area, jobs in Boca Chica have had a giant influx and tourism has risen substantially, bringing more business and money into the once small town. There are plans in the future to build a whole town near SpaceX, nicknamed Snailbrook, where employees would live and work, but these plans were met with a lot of controversy and not much has been heard since SpaceX hired a resort development manager. But whatever happens, Starbase has a very bright future ahead.